So I was talking to a male friend of mine the other day, and he told me that women don't apologize and women can't be held accountable. And I began to really think deeply about this idea. And one of the things that came across my mind is in the last nine months or so of me being in my private practice, I have myself experienced many women, whether they came as in as a couple or they came by themselves, they uh, very abruptly discontinued their therapy. And I started to reflect and really think, you know, what was going on here? And I noticed that after I had to confront them about something, I had to bring to their attention something they were doing that wasn't contributing to the health of the relationship, they became very defensive and very, you know, just very harsh and they stopped coming. And even though the husband would continue to come, he made it very clear that, yeah, she won't apologize. She thinks you're wrong. She thinks you're taking my side. And I began to really reflect like, oh my gosh, is it true that women don't apologize? Is it that women struggle with being held accountable? I'd love your thoughts on this. Me personally, I think it has to do with a person's level of emotional maturity. tuning into another episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man this one is titled suffering the fate of rebellion some women reject accountability at all cost they want nothing to do with it being accountable makes them sick to their stomach Man, for women that call themselves religious or Christians or whatever religion or denomination, you know, I'll tell you this. You cannot find biblically a woman that was not under headship and authority, either the headship of her father, headship of the Most High Yah, or headship of a man that was counted as righteous and went off and did her own thing. Did her will instead of the will of her head. When the word says the man is head of the woman, I want you to understand what the head is. That is an authoritative role over the woman. That's why the word says the woman should be in submission. The most high y'all didn't want you submitted to all these men. He wanted you submitted to your father's will. That's your daddy, your father. He wanted you submitted to your husband. He wanted you, he wanted your father to be able to hand you off to a man of understanding. Therefore that authority, therefore that authority is transferred to your husband. Man, on the backside of women rejecting accountability, there's nothing but rebellion. Why do I say that? Man, a woman that does not want to be submissive, does not want to be under authority, is going to want to do her own thing, to be justified in her eyes, and then when it blows up in her face, she'll blame other people rather than blaming herself in the choices that she has made. You know, this therapist and in the initial clip that I posted is on to something. And she had to analyze, okay, let me look at the tenure of my body of work that I've been doing this and see is there any validity to this. I'll tell you this, the most high y'all wanted the woman blameless. Meaning, you know, the women would have no reproach. See, if you are submissive, you're always seeking to do the will of a man. 
I'm gonna leave this for example. I'm a happily married man. As long as my wife does what I tell her to do, we don't have no problems. The minute my wife, I say, how come this is going on like this? She says, I did exactly what you told me to do. That's the end of that. You, I, I'll be like, I'm like, you right, you did exactly what I told you to do. But when you go off and do your own thing, that's when the adversary would be able to get you doing all kind of stuff you have no business doing. See, let's break this down. A lot of men that are fathers wanted their daughters to have an education. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I've said that in the past. But the problem is, instead of getting an education, being under the authority of your father, and things that you know he would not have you do, you went off and rebelled against your father under the cover of darkness. What does that mean? You went out, possibly had a dorm, got your own place, start sleeping with all these men. Next thing you know, your body count is high. But you still want your father to see you as a little angel. And then here's a, biblically, you out here, oh yeah, I'm a virgin. And the father give you away. Yeah, my daughter's pure. Now I'm, I'm going back deep on you. See, the signs of rebellion is the father thinks you're a pure virgin. And when their husband goes inside of you, there is no blood covenant, meaning your cherry doesn't pop. That means you've rebelled at some point. And you, you I'm telling you, the average woman is not gonna just sit back and say, yeah, I was out there just giving my body up. That's not the way, no, 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 no. Not when you, not when your husband, biblically, can give you back to your father and wash his hands of you because of your secret rebellion. Man, a woman will, a woman will make a man apologize for something that he did 30 years ago. But a woman won't apologize for something she did yesterday. Some women. A woman will have you on your knees. And y'all know this, women. Y'all y'all enjoy getting a man to beg for your forgiveness. Oh, babe, I'm, so, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. And I, I, I'm going to try to do better and, and be considerate of you. You got these men walking on eggshells. This, this is the reason why I cut different. This is the reason why I'm different. Y'all got men apologizing for stuff that's not even sin. You got men apologizing for stuff that they didn't even do. And y'all take great pleasure in it. Oh yeah, and, and for a woman, see women don't look at accountability as uh, a constructive tool to enhance a relationship. They don't look at it. They look at accountability as a boxing match. If a man do something wrong, a woman wants to KO you. A knockout. Got you dead to rights. I caught you. That's why women is always trying to catch a man. But when a man has found you out, where's that same accountability? Where's that same accountability? And this is truly, uh, a lot of women out here are suffering the fate of their rebellion. That's that's truly what's happening. In the last days, when the word says uh, difficult or perilous times shall come, it's gonna get worse. The book doesn't say it's gonna get better. You know that that one re uh, uh, one reason a good man will walk away from you as a woman, and you could have all this other stuff together. You could be educated. You could be. You know, uh, you can be a good head on your shoulder. All you can be good looking, drop dead gorgeous. But don't no man want a woman that's not accountable. You got to understand, you got women that have blamed a man so long. That man is on the other side of the country, not even affecting your day-to-day -day life, and you still blaming him. And for the stuff that doesn't pertain to him, that pertains to your choices, you try to blame other people. Rather than ever taking accountability. You know, I, let me give an example. I 
cannot blame my mother or father for the choices that I made in my adulthood. I couldn't make it because nobody put a gun to my head to do some of the stuff that people do causing them to apologize and have to ask for forgiveness. Nobody put a gun to my head. Oftentimes, see your rebellion as a woman is rooted in you following almost 100% the lust of your flesh via your feelings and your emotions. If you feel justified, you will ignore. If in your emotions and feelings, you feel justified without an ounce of fact or logic, you're gonna deny accountability. You don't want nothing to do with it because you got the feeling that you are right. When you start looking at, you know, relationships, the communication with a man, the dynamic between a man and a woman, it's a marathon. It's not all these uh, uh, different boxing matches every week. Well, I KO'd him last week. That's why a woman, she can, a, a woman can, can doggone tell you everything that you've done wrong as a man and have a whole list. She gonna need a, she gonna need a notepad. It's college ruled. But when it comes time for her to acknowledge what are some things that you've done wrong, she gonna struggle. That's the signs that a woman lacks accountability. And that video from the therapist just furthermore backs it up, but I tried to give you a, a, a different aspect to look at it. Posted to Y'all Ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.